Hello and welcome to my Stamp Ladies video. I'm going to show you this beautiful copper card. Stampin' Up! has so many copper embellishments right now that it's really fun to work with the copper. So this is the holly as found in the Christmas Gleaming Stamp Set. The sentiment is hoping all your wishes, Christmas wishes come true from so many stars. And then I am featuring the um, brightly gleaming elements. It's these foil, gorgeous foil elements that you get several sheets of. And then the star designer elements, also copper. We also have copper embossing, um, embossing powder that you can find in the annual catalog. And there's also copper foil and copper tins. So much copper that is fun to work with. I will also be using these stitched rectangle dies at the end there. So let's get started with this card and um, I will start with the focal image on this card. So I've got the brightly gleaming paper which is this gorgeous, gorgeous designer paper. Two-sided, one side has foil accents. Hard to decide which side to use. So be sure to check this out in my online store so you can see each of the patterns that are available. Okay, but I am actually not using a foil side. Now, do you find it hard? I do sometimes not to use the foil. This side this has this that gorgeous copper foil accent, but the star would get lost on this side, so I am actually using the side without the foil. And we're just going to put that down. This is a three and three eighths inch by three and three eighths inch piece of designer paper matted with the Mossy Meadow, which is three and a half by three and a half inches. Now I'm going to grab a mini glue dot. You could also use some liquid glue if you wanted, but I'm going to use a mini glue dot. So let's mount that star right in the middle of my sentiment there. Okay, we can also go ahead and mount the two smaller stars. And we'll just put that one there. And the other foil star up at the top. It's so much fun to work with um, the products that work together and that is one of Stampin' Up! specialties to have so many things that work together. Okay, so let's put in that, oh, I got it a little, there we go. These are um, self-sticking, so they've already got the glue on the back side. so all you have to do is pick that up and put it down for those gorgeous um, copper stars there in the center. Look how much that adds to it. I love how that adds to those stars. Okay, so my next step is this holly image, which I just love. And because I'm going to be doing some of the heat embossing, I'm going to use my Stampin' Buddy, my Stampin' Boss Buddy, to add some powder so that the powder, so that the embossing powder doesn't stick to where I don't want it to stick. The Versamark is an amazing ink for holding the embossing powder. So let's just sprinkle that on there, tap off the excess. Oops, I missed a little corner there, so let's get that. Embossing was the one that started me on my stamping journey. I, a lady had it many, like over 20 years ago. It's been a long time now. She showed me embossing, and I mean, we did it over a hot plate back then, but now it, you have this wonderful tool. So let your tool heat up, heat that powder, and you'll start to see it turn shiny, and it's like magic. Okay, so look at that. Is that gorgeous, that copper? And then you're going to um, fussy cut out the holly, but because I don't want to make you watch that, I already did it ahead of time. So to color it, I have, I love the Stampin' Blends for coloring. This is the Light Mossy Meadow. It makes coloring so quick. So all I'm going to do and is just go through. I want to make sure I go off the edges and catch any white edges, or very vanilla, this is very vanilla, that I may have not cut off. That way they that way they will not stand out. Okay, I use the dark seaside uh, dark seaside spray, yep, to color the berries. And then I'm going to cover those with a little bit of Wink of Stella, have that gorgeous glimmer. I just love the Wink of Stella for adding a little subtle subtle glimmer to that. Okay, let's pull back in that star piece here. And I am going to use a couple of mini glue dots to put that down. Get one more there. And we'll just place that right in the center of my big star. And then just to add some um, interest up into the corner, I'm going to use one more copper star and that will bring those stars right through. Okay, there is that focal image. 
Now I'm using the Stylish Scroll, and I'm just gonna show you in the holiday catalog because it's kind of hidden. This is where you find the Stylish Scroll on page 53, and it's in with the Halloween stuff, but it's not just a Halloween pattern. So if you don't have a demonstrator and you need to see the holiday catalog, be sure to go to my website, mystamplady.com, and I would love to help you out with getting a catalog in your hands. So now let's put down, I've already run this through the Big Shot with my folder, the stylish scroll. I have a piece of thick whisper white. I love the thick cardstock for my, my card bases. It's a nice, good weight. It doesn't feel flimsy and it feels like a good weight for a card. So let's put that down. And then let's put down our focal image here with the stars, gorgeous copper stars. Oh, I love that. And you know, I did leave these kind of leaves hanging up a little bit. If you don't wanna do that, feel free and you wanna kind of be a little more um, flat, put a little mini glue dot under there. My sentiment is done with Pretty Peacock. So Mossy Meadow and Pretty Peacock and the copper are colors that are in this gleaming, brightly gleaming paper. And then I have my hoping all your Christmas wishes come true. And so we'll stamp that right onto that very vanilla. And then this is where I'm pulling in that stitched rectangle. Now you notice that the stitched rectangle is a little bit larger than I want. So I'm just going to line it up like that. And let's put this on my plate. And I'm lining this up along the bottom here. And you'll see I have all this excess at the top. You're gonna to see what I do with that. Okay, so after it's come through, take that off and take off, it's kind of sticky in there. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my plate again here, my platform with the acrylic plate. And now it has all these really nice, it has these little stitching pattern because I can just line this up. You can kind of feel when it, it grabs the grooves. And then when you're done, just pull that part off and you have a narrower die cut. And then this can go right under there. Look at that. I'm gonna use a little bit of my liquid glue to put that down. And then just place that right underneath there. Hold that a second while that sets up. With the brightly gleaming paper and the copper accents, I've also done these little mini Kirby keepsake boxes, look at how cute. Perfect for putting just a little treat in, maybe at a dinner table, maybe just decorating a buffet. Super cute and just another option with that paper. If you like this video, I would love a thumbs up and you can subscribe and stay tuned for another Christmas video.